Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and over uh, recent weeks, and uh, I don't know, maybe months, uh, I've had a few video comments and uh, some emails of uh, people discharging their battery according to what they watched on the, uh, the video I made uh, quite a while back called Stop That Flashing Red Light. And uh, that was uh, made because I, I, <laughs> I'm on Social Security and make very little money on the side and I can't afford to buy two batteries. And back then, uh, this would be almost two years ago, year and a half ago, um, there was a lot of videos on if you started to get the flashing red light, you would uh, plug in another battery and uh, get the green light and then real quick switch batteries and it would go ahead and charge your battery. Because one of the cells, when one of the cells gets so far out of balance uh, that uh, it's, uh, it's like a dead cell, then the uh, the the bebop parrot the parrot bebop uh, charger that comes with the bebop two uh, would just sit there with a flashing light and wouldn't charge it. Well, I didn't have any way to to balance. Uh, I didn't have any plugs or anything. I didn't have another battery. So what my only idea was to just fly the the drone until it the battery was almost uh, dead. And then uh, they would be the cells would probably be more closely balanced, and of course it worked, and uh, I was able to use that battery. But then uh, I've gotten some comments from people who uh, they're using that to uh, make sure their battery stays, uh, the three cells stay balanced, and uh, that's not a that's not a good idea. And uh, so I wanted to make make that clear, and I thought in the process. Uh, I've spent lots of time on batteries, so this is kind of a history of some of the things <laughs> that I've done to uh, to try to come up with a balanced charger that anybody could make and use with their with their Bebop charger. And of course, uh, there's a, I've got kind of a collection um, of, <laughs> of things I did. The first thing I did was to was to use a paint stick, and what I did was I took the paint stick and uh, put some glue on it and then I made some uh, connectors and uh, put them uh, in the in between the two paint the two two parts of the paint stick as you can see in the graphic and uh, then they plugged into the uh, to the bebop charging uh, charger that went to the battery and the other end plugged into my balance charger which I had had for a long time so uh, that was my first uh, uh, project since then I have given away that paint stick. Somebody else needed it and uh, I didn't need it anymore so I gave that away. And then I, I started looking around for other ideas uh, after the paint stick and one of the things that I found on eBay was an LED uh, strip light connector that goes on the end of a strip light and so I was able to actually bend the prongs just a little bit and make a balance charger using that and that worked pretty good and then um, my probably my last uh, attempt was uh, to uh, you know the only way I could come up with was to use play-doh and make the prongs uh, put the prongs together uh, in play-doh and then let it harden and then uh, solder everything to it and uh, that, that way I could still continue using the bebop uh, charger but uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Bebop plug to go into my battery and then I used my balance charger. So uh, <clears throat> that was, uh, those were some attempts that I made. And then finally, uh, I was able to find where to get a plug that would fit into the Bebop battery. And most, most of the people who have subscribed to my channel for over a period of time, they know all that. Uh, but one of the things that... Uh, I noticed uh, and I was thinking about lately is the the video that I put up of when my my uh, drone fell out of the sky from 260 feet or so uh, I was using that battery that first came with my bebop that I ruined and uh, uh, I, I I'm not I was trying to blame it on uh, on the uh, the app that I was using and a lot of people argued with me that it was the battery and you know over since that time I've learned a lot more about batteries but uh, over over that period of time I think probably it was that battery because that battery uh, was I got I just got a comment <laughs> uh, 
that battery was was no good. I mean, it worked for a long time, but uh, it finally gave out. And so uh, that's probably why my, my Bebop crashed when it did. But uh, what I want to do is just take a minute <clears throat> and point out that you do not want to discharge your battery all the way down and leave it. Uh, because it's just as harmful for it to be sitting around at 10% uh, of a charge as it is to be sitting around at a full charge. The, uh, the long-term storage for a Bebop battery should be, uh, each cell should be at uh, 3.75 volts. And of course that would be 11.25 volts on, on a Bebop uh, battery with the three cells. But uh, uh, some folks have been discharging their battery way down and then is leaving it like that and that's uh, that's harmful for it. It needs to be left at its natural voltage which is three, about 3.75 to 3.8 volts somewhere in there. And uh, so uh, what, what I often do, and I'll show you a chart, uh, what I often do is I just fly until it gets down to about 50% because I don't have any long flights unless it's a flight plan or something like that. And uh, it just turns out to be about 50% when I land. Uh, if it's not 50%, I put it on my balance charger and I put it into the storage mode and it, it uh, discharges it or charges it up, whatever needs to be done to get it to that 3.8 volts or whatever. But uh, a, a, a LiPo battery, the, the minimum voltage that you ever want it to get down to is 3 volts and that's dangerous. Uh, about 3.7 volts, or I'm sorry, about 3.2 volts is about where you want to get it discharged to. And then you should, for storage, you should charge it up to uh, about 3.75 to 3.8. And naturally, uh, they, they all charge up to 4.2 volts. And one more thing, um, if I'm going to uh, bring up a chart. And uh, this was, I was testing out my, my uh, two batteries that came with my Bebop 2. And the one the, uh, in the left two hand columns, the green column, was my control battery. That was the one that came with the Bebop uh, that I didn't, I just used the Bebop charger on. And the blue column is the battery that I used my, my uh, balanced charger on. And I just was messing around and messing around and not paying a whole lot of attention. But in the upper right hand corner, uh, a full voltage is uh, for for the Bebop 2 power is 13.08 volts, and so uh, you'll notice on the right hand side every time I would charge up my my uh, with my with my balance charger, I'd get the yellow. But as time went by, on the the left hand side, the Bebop charger kept uh, bringing me down. It dropped down to the, from the yellow to the green. You'll see there. And then it went down to the blue, and uh, and then finally, over a period of time, it got down to where it would only charge the battery up to the 3.058 or 51, as those last two cases. And I could, that's when I began to realize my my one battery that I'm charging on the Bebop charger uh, is slowly dying. And so that's when I decided I'm going to give up the test. And since that time, as you can see, I've just uh, used the uh, balance charger for both of them because I don't want to lose my battery. So anyway, uh, just want to make sure that you understand when you get through flying, your battery should be stored at about uh, 3.7 to 3.8 volts per cell, which uh, turns out to be about 11.25 uh, or 11.3 volts or so for the Bebop battery. So I want to thank you for watching and God bless.